and Beck Miller album review. Today's review was on uh, Live in Bergen, August 20th, 2015 by Metallica. This is part of the Live Metallica series of official bootlegs. This concert took place on August 20th, 2015 at Bergen Hus Fortress in Bergen, Norway. This album was recorded and mixed by Mike Gillies. The photographs from the concert were taken by Jeff Yeager. The packaging was designed by Dan Nikolaiko. This album was released in 2015 on Black and Recordings and distributed by Nugs.net. As usual, this is a double album, and we're going to talk about the songs starting with the ones on disc one. The beginning of this concert is Fuel. It is expected for Metallica to start a live show with this awesome song. The next track is For Whom the Bell Tolls. The song first appeared on Ride the Lightning. After that is Metal Militia. The song originated from Kill Em All. Next up is King Nothing. Metallica don't play the song during live shows all that often. Up next is Disposable Heroes. The first appearance of the song was on Master of Puppets. That's followed up by The Day That Never Comes. This is one of the most popular songs from Death Magnetic. We followed up with Lords of Summer. The studio version of the song was later, uh, later appeared on the deluxe version of Hardwired Self-Destruct. The long track is The Unforgiven, and this is one of the most popular songs from the Black Album. The second to the last track on disc one is Sad But True. As usual, James Hetfield asked the question, do you want heavy, before he and his bandmates started playing the song. The last track on disc one is The Frayed Ends of Sanity, which first appeared on Injustice For All. It's it for the songs on disc 1, now for disc 2. The first song on disc 2 is 1. In the case of this concert, it means that we've reached the halfway point. The track that follows is Master of Puppets. This is obviously the title track of the album from the same name. Now the track after that is The Memory Remains. This is track two on the album, Reload. The track that comes next is Fade to Black. This is the fourth track on Ride the Lightning. The track that comes after that is Seek and Destroy. This means that we're nearing the end of the concert. What comes next is Whiskey in the Jar. Metallica recorded a cover of the song for Garage Inc. The second to last track is Nothing Else Matters, which is one of the most popular songs from the Black Album. The end of the set list is Enter Sandman. I said before that Metallica usually play the song at the end of their live shows. There is no information available regarding how this album formed commercially. However, 10 people on Discogs claim to have it in their collections. This album also has a perfect score on Discogs, given the fact that only one person has given it a rating as of the making of this video. Now for my thoughts. I really like this album. It's really awesome that Metallica played a live show in Norway, even though this wasn't the only time they ever played there. Perhaps one of the greatest things about Norway is that black metal was invented there. I once stated on Twitter that Norway gave us black metal, and we gave them the F-35. Overall, I highly recommend this album. If you want a copy for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description so you can, uh, you know, so you can get it along with other Live Metallica albums. Now, as part, why question you? Have you listened to Live in Bergen, August twentieth, twenty fifteen? If so, what do you think about it? What's your favorite song from it? Did you attend this concert for yourself? Well, let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to press the notification bell to notify of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video.